Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And when I recently covered the 1992-93 Fleer basketball set, I planned on covering some of the inserts like the Total D inserts and the All-Star cards in a separate video. After doing the research, I was surprised at the lack of sales data for the All-Star cards due to very small population reports. Since I already did the research, I know there's a lot of big junk wax era basketball card collectors that follow my channel, so I figured I would at least run through each card in the subset, from card number 1 through card number 24, and share with you guys what I found. And kicking the set off at card number 1 was Michael Adams. The only comp I could find was a PSA 9 that sold for $19.50 back in September of 2017. This card has only been graded 4 times by PSA, and a PSA 9 is a pop of 1 for the highest graded copy. All-Star card number 2 in the set featured Hall of Famer Charles Barkley. The last PSA 9 of this card sold for $30 back in January of 2020, and the record sell is also the only PSA 10 comp I could find, selling for $596.50 as a best offer accepted back in October of 2015. Graded 20 times by PSA, this card is a pop of only 1 in a PSA 10, compared to 8 in a PSA 9. Card number 3 in the subset featured Brad Daughtry of the Cavs. The highest comp found was a $20 Buy It Now for a PSA 9 back in May of 2016. Graded only 9 times, there are no PSA 10s in existence, and a PSA 9 is a pop of only 4. Up next at card number 4 was Joe Dumars. The last PSA 9 sold for $27.99 as a buy it now back in August of 2020. I was only able to find two prior PSA 10 sales, one for $56.55 back in September of 2017, and the record sell was from November of 2019, selling for $61.60. Graded 10 times by PSA, this all-star card is a pop of 2 in a PSA 10, compared to 5 in a PSA 9. Patrick Ewing is up next and was featured on card number 5 of the subset. The last PSA 9 comp I found was for $46 back in October of 2019, and the only PSA 10 comp found is our record sell, coming in at $102.50 from back in September of 2017. Graded 10 times by PSA, this card is a pop of only 2 in a PSA 10. If I was able to make a more traditional list, there's no doubt this card would be number one on today's list, as card number six of the subset featured Michael Jordan. For average sale prices, a PSA 8 sells for $55.52 on average, while the average sale price of a PSA 9 comes in at $231.34. There were two PSA 10s sold in 2020 that averaged roughly $2,400. Well, there was one sale of a PSA 10 in 2021 that sold for $6,200 back in April. And the record sale of this card comes from a golden auction back in March of this year, selling for $12,420. The pop reports really dictate how valuable this card is in a PSA 10, as it's been graded 765 times by PSA, including a pop of only 11 in a PSA 10, compared to 206 in a PSA 9, and even 354 in a PSA 8. Up next at card number 7 was Reggie Lewis. I was only able to find two PSA 9 comps for this card, one for $18.36 from back in April of this year, while the highest comp found was for $51 back in January of 2021. Graded 21 times by PSA, there are no PSA 10s showing up on the pop report, 
but a population of 6 in a PSA 9 and 2 in a PSA 8. Card number 8 of the subset featured Scotty Pippen. This was another card I was surprised not to see much data for, but there was a PSA 9 Buy It Now for $60 back in June of 2020. Graded 45 times, this is another all-star card from the subset that is a pop of 0 in a PSA 10, compared to 19 in a PSA 9, and 17 in a PSA 8. Mark Price of the Cavs is up next at card number 9 from the set. The only sell I could find was a PSA 9 that sold for $46 back in October of 2019. Graded 12 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 0 in a PSA 10 and only 5 in a PSA 9. Card number 10 of the set featured Hall of Fame member Dennis Rodman. The last PSA 9 of this card sold for $22.50 back in March of 2021, while the highest comp found was also for a PSA 9 that sold for $51 back in January of 2021. Graded 21 times by PSA, this is another card from the subset that has no PSA 10s in existence, but a PSA 9 is a pop of 8. Next up was Isaiah Thomas that was featured on card number 11. This was another card I couldn't find any past comps for a PSA 10. The highest sell found was a PSA 9 that sold for $46 back in October of 2019. Graded only 12 times, this card is a pop of 1 in a PSA 10, 6 in a PSA 9, and 2 in a PSA 8. Kevin Willis of the Atlanta Hawks was featured on card number 12. I was unable to find any past comps for a PSA 9, and the highest sell found was for a PSA 10 that sold for $81 back in September of 2017. Graded only 5 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 1 in a PSA 10, and a pop of 2 in both a PSA 9 and a PSA 8. Another Hall of Fame member was featured on card number 13 with this Clyde Drexler. The last PSA 9 comp I found was for a Buy It Now for $45.99 back in June of 2021. While I had to go all the way back to December of 2016 to find the last PSA 10 that sold for $61. And the record sell of this card happened one month prior in November of 2016, selling for $82. Graded 16 times, this card is a pop of only 2 in a PSA 10, 8 in a PSA 9, and 5 in a PSA 8. Up next, Tim Hardaway was featured on card number 14. The only PSA 10 comp I found was for $26 back in September of 2017. Graded 14 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 2 in a PSA 10 and 8 in a PSA 9. Jeff Hornacek of the 76ers was featured on card number 15. The last PSA 9 of this card sold for $10 back in March of 2021, while the highest PSA 10 comp found was for $36 back in June of 2018. Graded 8 times by PSA, this all-star card is a pop of 2 in a PSA 10 and 2 in a PSA 9. Dan Marley of the Phoenix Suns was featured on card number 16. A PSA 9 of this card sold for $19.50 back in September of 2017. Graded only 6 times by PSA, there are no PSA 10s, but the pop reports are showing a pop of 4 in a PSA 9.
The Mailman was featured on card number 17 with this Carl Malone. The last PSA 9 of this card sold at auction for only $10.50 back in September of 2020, while the highest comp found was for a PSA 10 that sold for $78 back in November of 2019. Graded 17 times by PSA, this Carl Malone is a pop of 2 in a PSA 10, 6 in a PSA 9, and 8 in a PSA 8. Chris Mullen is up next with card number 18. The last PSA 9 sold for $30 back in July of 2021, and the record PSA 10 auction happened back in September of 2017, selling for $37.05. Graded 13 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 3 in a PSA 10, 5 in a PSA 9, and 3 in a PSA 8. The Kembi Mutombo was featured on card number 19. I was unable to find any past comps for a PSA 10, but the last PSA 9 of this card sold for $40 back in October of 2019. Graded 12 times, this card is a pop of 1 in a PSA 10, compared to 5 in a PSA 9. Featured on card number 20 was Houston Rockets legend Hakeem Olajuwon. The last PSA 9 of this card sold for $36 back in October of 2019. This is another all-star card from the subset where the pop reports are showing no PSA 10s, but a pop of 12 in a PSA 9 and 6 in a PSA 8. David Robinson is up next on card number 21. The last PSA 9 comp I found sold for only $9.50 back in May of 2021, while the highest sale found was for a PSA 10 that sold for $137.50 back in September of 2018. Graded 29 times by PSA, this David Robinson is a pop of 4 in a PSA 10, 9 in a PSA 9, and 11 in a PSA 8. John Stockton was next on the checklist with card number 22. The last PSA 9 sold for $38 as a buy it now back in October of 2019, and the record PSA 10 sold for $102.50 back in September of 2017. Graded 13 times by PSA, that PSA 10 is a pop of only one, compared to six in a PSA 9 and four in a PSA 8. Featured on card number 23 was Otis Thorpe. I was only able to find one pass comp in any grade, as a PSA 8.5 sold for $17.99 as a buy it now back in June of 2021. Graded six times, this card is a pop of zero in a PSA 10 and three in a PSA 9. and the 24-card All-Star subset, finished with three-time NBA champ and Hall of Fame member James Worthy. This is another card that the pop reports are showing no PSA 10s, with a pop of five and a PSA 9 out of the seven copies that have been graded. And the highest auction sell found was for a PSA 9 that sold for only $12.92 back in September of 2017. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.